hey there! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with another question and answer video and I personally really enjoy filming these. I try to be as transparent and as real as possible in my vlogs and all my videos, but I feel like this also is a great opportunity for me to answer the questions that you guys want to know about my life and just kind of get to know me on a more personal level. So, I asked on Instagram and I also asked on YouTube for you guys to send me questions, so we're just gonna bang through them and try to answer as many as possible. Question number one, what was your favorite part of working on a cruise ship besides skating? This is a tough question to answer because there are so many things that I genuinely love about working on a cruise ship, but I would have to say the sense of community and family within the crew members because we live where we work, where we party, where we eat, where we relax. Like, it gives you an opportunity to build really strong connections with a lot of people from all over the world and I find that so special and very rare to find in most work environments. What would you tell yourself five years ago? So five years ago would be what? Senior year of high school? I probably would say to not rush my life because I think when we're younger we always want to be older for some reason and now that I'm in my 20s I realize that I still have so much of my life to live so yeah I would just say to not rush things and just kind of take each day as it comes what's your favorite quarantine snack I love this question because I love snacks so I would have to say Cheez-Its I freaking love Cheez-Its. Pros and cons of working on the ship. So pros, you get to work your dream job, at least in my case. You get to travel a lot. You probably are gonna go places that you wouldn't have if you didn't work on a ship. The pay is really good. You have little to no expenses at all. You don't pay for your food. You don't pay for your room or board. You basically get to pocket almost everything you make. You get to meet people from all over the world and learn so much more about other cultures and just life. Another pro, extremely inexpensive alcohol at the crew bar. I'm talking $2 for a glass of wine. I could keep going on about pros, but we're gonna skip to cons. So cons, you have a lot of responsibility because if there was an emergency, the guests' lives and your lives are in your own hands. You don't have a kitchen so you can't cook for yourself. If you're having a bad day and you want to like just escape from everyone it's nearly impossible because you're constantly running into people. And I would have to say the last con is that everyone kind of knows your business. I try to keep my business as private as I can but everyone kind of knows everything because you're all in a contained environment. Any tips for increasing social media engagement? I would say the biggest thing is consistency because the more you post, the more people are gonna see you and also people that don't necessarily follow you, they'll probably be more apt to following you if they know that you post regularly. Another really big thing for me is aesthetic. I like my social media pages to be aesthetically pleasing and kind of look cohesive and not just a jumbled mess and uh, just be authentic. Don't try to be someone you're not because people can see right through that Favorite TV character? Well, my favorite TV show is Grey's, but I wouldn't say that my favorite TV character is in that show, although I do love Derek Shepard. Uh, probably David from Schitt's Creek or Schmidt from New Girl. Those are my two favorite characters. How do you find all these ideas to film? Your work ethic is insane. Well, thank you so much, Dan. Uh, that question is actually from my friend Dan. He has his own YouTube channel and he focuses his channel all about fitness and healthy eating. So I will link it down below because you guys should definitely go check it out. A lot of times I will get video ideas from YouTube itself, um, just kind of reflecting on what videos I like to watch. I also get inspiration from Pinterest a lot and also just kind of out of nowhere. Like I could be laying in my bed in the middle of the night and get an idea. So when that happens, I write it down in my notebook so that I don't forget it. How do you always come up with such cute outfits? 
I really don't know the answer to that. I don't know. I mean, thank you so much, but it just kind of comes within my noggin, you know? I do hop on some trends, but not all. I also like to pair basics with like a fun print or color. I also get some ideas from Pinterest sometimes, but for the most part, I just kind of use what I have in my closet and mix and match. Have you ever struggled with anxiety or depression? If so, how do you cope? I feel very fortunate and grateful that I have never struggled with anxiety or depression. I have a few friends that struggle with anxiety and depression, so I am familiar with it, but personally myself, I do not struggle with it at all. What other types of jobs exist on the ship? There are so many different jobs that you could have on the cruise ship. Of course, you can be an entertainer, whether it's a skater, a diver, an acrobat, a dancer, an aerialist, a singer, but you could also be a sports staff, um, you could be youth staff and you take care of the little kiddos in Adventure Ocean, you could be a shop guide so you could work in the shops on the promenade, you could be a shore excursion so you handle the excursions when people get off the ship, uh, you could be a genie, you could be um, a waiter, you could be a bartender, you could be a chef. Like, the list goes on and on. How often do you go through a pair of skates and what blades do you have? So my skates probably last me about two years now that I'm doing uh, shows. When I was competing, I was training a lot more and I would go through a pair a year, but now I can make them last about two years and I have the Gold Star Blades. On the ship, do you skate on real ice or is it synthetic plastic ice? So, believe it or not, it is real ice, which makes it a lot easier to skate on. I've never actually skated on plastic ice, but I've heard it's a lot more challenging. The ice surface is really small, but it is real. What is your favorite port of call so far? So, my favorite port was definitely Malaga. It was our last port before we signed off, and we only got to go one time, but I would have loved to explore more of Malaga. But as far as ports that I went to, very often, I would have to say San Juan and Cozumel. Will you go back to working on the ship? Yes, but <laughs> I have no clue what's going on with my next contract. To be honest, I have not heard anything. Royal Caribbean made an announcement that they're not sailing until the middle of June, and my next contract was supposed to start mid-June, but I have a good feeling it's going to be pushed back a while. But I really have no information as of right now. What cruise ship is your next contract on? So my next contract is supposed to be on the Mariner, but again, things might be switched around or uh, it might not happen. I literally have no clue right now. Are you and Morris planning on meeting up after all this craziness? So yes, uh, I actually was supposed to visit him in Switzerland a few weeks ago, but obviously that didn't happen. So I'm hoping to fly over there in the near future and spend a few weeks with him. Are any of your castmates from your last contract doing the same contract with you? Sadly, no, and it breaks my heart because they're the most amazing people, but there's so many lovely people in the world of figure skating, so I'm sure that my next cast will be just as great. Will you do only cruise contracts? So this is something I've definitely thought about. Um, I want to work on the cruise ship for a while, but I also want to experience other contracts. So I would really love to do Disney on Ice as well, and maybe Hot Ice, Holiday on Ice. Um, there's so many different ice show options that I don't want to limit myself to just cruise ships. But as life goes, I'm just gonna kind of go with the flow and see where it takes me. Does constant spins decrease dizziness? I never get dizzy, but that's also because I've skated since I was four, so I'm just used to it. But like anything, the more you practice, the better you'll get and the easier it'll get. And for my last question, uh, somebody asked, what is the dating world like while on a contract slash is there a dating hookup culture amongst crew members? The amount of tea that I could spill right now is obscene, but um, I'm not gonna do that. The dating scene is very weird because, uh, you know, you're all together, so it's bound to happen. And it does work out for some people. There's a lot of people I know that have found their spouses on a cruise ship and now they're married or they're engaged. But it's also really tough because you could potentially be dating someone from the other side of the world and that's 
very very hard to do long distance especially if somebody is on a ship and the other person's at home you don't have access to service as much and if you buy the Wi-Fi you are gonna be blowing a lot of money to talk to your significant other and also we have a lot of people who are not truthful about their relationship status so it can get a little messy it's just very different than the real world I would say if you guys want me to go more in depth and do like a dating and relationship question and answer video because that's something I've never really talked about on my channel I can do that if you guys are interested but um yeah I have some stories that I could share that's for sure but anyways that concludes this question and answer I really hope you guys enjoyed chit chatting and like I said before I really love doing these so never hesitate to ask me questions in videos or uh, message me because I'm pretty much an open book so I love you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one